my dream for 2024 will be to be uh, a father and being world champion. She won, no? She won, no? The season, uh, firstly, it's been long, long season, 20, 20 races or 20 race events, 40 individual races. So it's been a pretty hard season, I think, for everybody. Um, last year, when we arrived in the last race, we were fighting for the victory in the championship. This year, when we arrived in the last race, we were fighting for P9, P10 in the championship. So it's been a tough year. Um, we've seen an improvement in the second half of the season. I would say the first half of the season was particularly tough when we understood that we were not as competitive as we uh, were accustomed to be. But then after we got a, used to that difficult situation with the, you know, the team coming together, the riders changing mindset, we chipped away in the second part of the season and, uh, and we improved. But, um, we're not where we want to be, and we definitely plan to be stronger in the future. Yamaha uh, represented many things in, uh, in my career, because first of all, it's the factory where Vale made his history and it's the factory that uh, I always loved also because of that, because of Vale making a lot of results with them and Vale making history of uh, motorcycle racing with Yamaha. So join, to join uh, Yamaha first of all with Petronas was uh, very nice, to ride uh, Yamaha with Petronas was very nice and then to join the factory team was unbelievable and uh, it has been uh, a wonderful chapter of my life in general, not just of my career. You know, we know him well, obviously he's coming from the VR46 Academy group, which we have very strong links with. And, you know, he, after one year on the production Honda, the custom Honda, then he switched into the Petronas team. And uh, in the first year he got uh, some good results. Um, and then Fabio actually beat him in that first year. Then he came back one year later and he became vice champion uh, of the world, which was a very, very strong uh, um, result for him. Then he joined the factory team. You know, after Maverick departed mid-season, um, he made an early start, switched uh, teams in the middle of the season, which was not easy because he had a knee injury that, um, you know, he'd been out for a lot of the season. So when he joined us in the factory team, he already had this knee injury. It took him more time than expected to get over that. The first season, or the first half season, was very tough. Second season was quite difficult, and so we were hoping that this year he would, you know, be fully fit and would, would be able to achieve his maximum. But for various reasons, it didn't really happen, you know, and um, at the end, uh, we had to make a difficult decision in the uh, middle of this season, and it was a decision of what is best for us and what is best for Frankie for the future. And we decided it's best to make a change. And that's nothing negative about making a change because sometimes you just need to change the chemistry, you need to change the mix um, for both parties. So anyway, I would like to thank Frankie for all of his efforts in the past and we know he has great talent. So I think uh, he can have a good future. Likewise, from our side, I think the change for us will also be a positive stimulus for us to achieve great things in our future too. Yeah, we're in the, you know, I would say probably since 
Well, probably since mid-season especially, that's when we reached our lowest point. And from that moment onwards, then we had to fight back and to come back. So I would say that more than anything behind the scenes, uh, things that you don't see yet, we are changing the way of working, we're changing our resources for the future, we're making new investments, uh, many of which are still secret. Um, so if you asked me six months ago, how was my personal feeling? I would have said a little bit depressed. Uh, if you ask me now, how is my feeling? I would say I'm optimistic because I know that we have many good plans for the future. So we need to work hard um, and everybody is on board for this uh, project. The team, the YMC engineers, the YMC, YMR engineers. So uh, let's work for the future. Well, it was really frustrating. I mean, especially the first part where, you know, you, you come from uh, fighting to be, to be world champion from finishing P10 in the championship. So of course it was a big shock for me, but uh, I think that uh, the team and I were really united together to make the best of, of every situation. And this is what we, we did this year. Yeah, I mean, that's one of Fabio, uh, Fabio's greatest qualities, I would say, is in any case, on any given moment, he always pushes to the maximum. And in the first half of the year, I think he was very frustrated because having been champion in uh, two years ago, having been vice champion last year, when you come into the new season and you see that you are not as competitive as you want to be with the package that we had, and then you see there are eight Ducati riders there, the KTM has improved, Aprilia have improved. So while he continued to give his strongest effort, it was understandable that he was frustrated and, um, and frustrated and angry sometimes. At a certain moment, I think he accepted that this season was not going to be his season. And from that moment onwards, we saw in the, basically after the summer break, a change of mindset. He accepted the current situation and decided, okay, we need to come together. We need to work together and we need to build a better future. And so we've seen really uh, an improvement in his race weekend planning, strategy, mindset, mood. And I think he did very well in the second half of the season. We saw him back to his normal self. Yes, it was uh, a really tough season. I mean, uh, we made some, some nice, uh, nice races, tough races. We improved quite a lot uh, in some areas, but uh, I think it was a, a year of, of experience. Not great in result, but I think we, we learned a lot this year. Yeah, I think we have a super strong team next year, honestly. I think, you know, the onus is really upon us to develop the technical package. Because if we can give those two riders the best package, there's no doubt that they can perform. I mean, as I mentioned, this year was a tough year for both of those riders, in fact, for different reasons. We know Fabio's potential. We know clearly that we need to give him a strong package and he demands and requires a strong package and he's a super good guy to work with real team player as well positive spirit so i'm super happy about next year's team and i think uh, we can do great things yeah hopefully next year will be a year with uh, much more podium hopefully some some victories and uh, yeah happy holidays and see you in 2024 bye, -bye.